going to start off by talking about the Satrix Finny, F-I-N-I, and then it's got the number 15 after it. That's financial and industrial 15. It's no, the no, largest. No, no. Actually, it's just the financial one, this one. Aha. The Fin D is the financial ah, and industrial. This one is pardon. just financial I'm indices. I'm glad you stopped shares. me interrupting me there. So there we go. <laughs> just those financial indices, just those yes. financial shares. Underwritten by its issuer, Satrix, which is part of Sunlum, right? That's right. So it's got them behind it. Issues here, we've, by my calculation, got about a billion rands worth yeah. of issues in issue. So what that means is that can, of course, create more if there's additional demand. Yes. But right now, that gives you a sense of the popularity of this particular instrument. Historic yield of around 1%, which sounds quite low. But mm. anyway, we'll go into that side yeah. of things in a minute. Sure. So you would buy this one if you felt that those major financial stocks, which is banks, insurance companies in there as well? Exactly. Banks, insurance companies, mm. um, equity sort of investment portfolios, but very importantly, also property stocks. Uh -huh. And in particular, the deal listed. So those London listed property stocks. Into Capco. Exactly. So, so when you hmm. look at your property ETFs, they exclude those deal listed property stocks. So uh -huh. the Satrix Finney is a great way to actually get exposure to a nice diversified financial basket, which also includes many of those deal listed and international financial What's stocks. What's the relative weighting though? Because our banks we know are big well capitalized yes. organizations haven't been doing particularly well lately sort yeah. of tracking global trends. Yes. So how big are Into and Capco and the likes in the mix? So it's relatively small. The overall property exposure only in the region about 15% of okay. that portfolio but that's part of the diversified nature that you're really looking mm. for. So in addition to Into and Capco you also have Old Mutual for example you have yeah. Investec. Yeah. So you do have other um, sort of deal listed Yes. or um, Rand Hedge financial in shares also in it. Exactly, and of course we know that our banks also have a degree of offshore exposure, yes. although much less perhaps than might have been the case in the past. Yes. Okay, so why would you own these now? Would this be because you are trying to build an investment portfolio with exclude certain things? Is this like your earlier point about you can just buy this and then it locks in that whole section of your net exposures? Paul, at this stage, the reason why I'm quite keen on the Satrix okay. Finney 15 is because I do believe that the financial sector has been unduly hit by mm. the, uh, what happened since December mm. um, and I do think that they are now undervalued as a sector and as yeah. a group of shares and I think therefore it represents good investment opportunity mm. but it's f busy moving away so already we're seeing that that financial index recovering quite quickly yeah. um, you know when you look at sort of the basic premise of this uh, the historic yield might be quite low but the forward-looking yield on our financial index is actually very attractive yeah. and I do think um, you've got to look sort of at the at the stability of the South African banks and ask yourself, are they really going to stop paying dividends? Mm. Are they going to go out of business? And the answer probably will be no, they yeah. will not. Yeah. So I do think that this one represents a good sort of entry point or opportunity to get good and, and, and relatively good exposure to financial shares. I must say, I agree with you. If you look at globally, you've got, you know, big banks like, yeah. you know, too big to fail type organizations, a lot of regulation and all that sort of thing. But our banks are sort of in between. We don't have too many, so yeah. they're like prone to falling over. Yes. But we don't have so few that it's sort of like big and stodgy. Exactly. And companies like First Rand, Investec, which we own in our portfolio, very innovative, lots of good news going on, managing risk very well, not likely Absolutely. to have a big uptick in bad debts. Yes, yes. So now, so I do think that, you know, the financial sector of the South African economy is mm. also one of the star performers. Mm. Um, if we go back and think of 2008 and the experience of the financial industry in South Africa, it certainly weathered yeah. the global exactly. financial storm very well and no reason to think mm. any differently this yeah. time around. Good. So this sounds like one of the ones this you're is hot, hot on. For you me. like it? Definitely. Yep. I would say that's a good call. I'm going to go hot on that one too.